Oh no. Is this simple mean it's extra hard? Or is it a different kind of puzzle? Sigmar's garden. Concordia. Seeing your transmutation engine in action is giving me fond memories for playing Sigmar's garden. Sigmar's what? You never played Sigmar's garden? I thought everyone knew this game. You put the marbles in a certain pattern and marbles. This is something Anateus doesn't know. Crazy. Isn't that what these are? They're elemental proxies, glass spheres that represent various types of atoms. Little glass spheres are commonly known as marbles. We never call them marbles. To anyone who's not a highly trained alchemist, that's what they are. Now, why don't you give Sigmar's garden a try? Fine, I suppose. Win one game to continue. Ugh. They just said they're marbles. Oops. I didn't realize that was a game. Oh, interesting. Do you want them all to be the same color? Hmm, not quite. Oh, great. Clearing marbles. Your goal is to clear the board. Select a, mar a free marble. And then pick up a matching marble to remove them both from the board. A marble is only free if it has three contiguous empty spaces next to it. Luckily, the spaces off the board count as empty spaces. The matching marble doesn't seem like it needs to necessarily be next to it, or does it need to be adjacent? Matching combinations. Four cardinal elements match with the other of the same type. Salt matches with any of the cardinal elements or with itself. Vitae and Moors haven't gotten to these guys before. They only appear to match with their opposites. The metals match with Quicksilver but only in the order of their transmutation from lead to gold. That's complicated. So click one, and they're matching. Free one? Free marble, then pick a matching marble. This is free. That's matching. Okay, maybe not. This is free. This matches with the opposite. Can they be... Oh, so they do not need to be adjacent. Is it a matching free marble? It seems that way. Yeah, it really does. Salt. Matches with all the elemental stuff. I'm mixing up salt and quicksilver a little bit. This will unlock the air. And this said this will always match with quicksilver. Can you undo this? No, not like the regular game. 
These are all elemental, so they have to go with the salt. And unlock. Something kind of useful. This will unlock this one. Nope, it didn't. Am I stuck? This is a Quicksilver with all elementals. all the ones that seem like they can't be done with other ones. I think this will unlock another salt. Nice. Three free spaces. These can only be moved with these. Now we have a bunch of Quicksilver. and two salt. These ones can only be done with the black down symbol. What did they call them? Vitae and Moors. Yeah, I haven't gotten there, so it feels less natural. Can they match themselves? Not quite. Salt matches itself. As long as you have bigger other options, the better. We had a lot of these Vitae More things. I'm looking at spots that will unlock other ones. The ones on their own are nice. They're not as dependent. They're always able to be clicked on. None of the ones left can use Quicksilver. Unless I unlock this one. This one unlocks the red one. Ridiculous thought. Yeah, we needed that for more of the more. Unlock more of them. How is this one not unlocked? One, two, three. Contiguous one. Blue, green. Yeah, why is that one not done? Feels odd to me. Is there an undo button? This, I believe, unlocks these two. This, this is gold. Oh my god. The metals match with their Quicksilver, but only in the order of the transmutation. This is the order part. So it's unlocking this one before it unleashes this one, the moon, and then gold. Just being so careful. Fun, isn't it? This is not how all alchemy works. 
the cardinal elements, for example. This is just a little amusement, Anateus. When we were children, we used to sneak in here and play when the alchemist was away. What? You were totally unsupervised near the transmutation engine? We only use the marbles, Anateus. Calm yourself. They're not marble. They're representations of the fundamental building blocks of the universe. They're also little glass spheres. I'll flick one at you. Ah, stop it. You can't play with the delicate equipment like this. They're far cheaper than the rest of your kit. You know, being that they are marbles. I'd still appreciate that you didn't treat them so casually. Well, we did it for years. You hardly ha You really had no idea about Sigmar's garden? Not at all. Why would the university bother to uh, yeah, bother to teach something so frivolous. 10 game. Okay, that'll take some time. But it doesn't look like the transmutation engine because it's not green. We'll do... That's 10 more. Optional. We'll do a quick one, see if I can do it quickly or not. Without being so careful. Maybe I can't. don't have that secondhand thought. Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe this is... It just feels like a break for my brain because I feel like the engines are not as intuitive to me as this had been. Do I want it to match with itself? Well, it was worth a shot. Now we know what the marbles are for. So last time, we had finished Sigmar's Garden, and now we're on to Tonic. This was pretty quick. I want to do one again, because I kind of liked it. I think it was a different brain cell than uh, the regular puzzles. I'm not sure if other people struggle with this early kind of puzzle or not. But I know it's definitely been not as intuitive as I would have wanted it to be. I'd recently finished the um, Monsters Expedition. And I felt like my brain was just like perfectly aligned with that game. Like that the solutions came fairly easy. I didn't fit 100% it, but I'm close to it. I didn't stream it or anything, but yeah, I really liked it, and I felt like I was vibing with it pretty well. But that just doesn't feel like the case with this game. I'm not sure if it's because... I'm not sure what it is. But I guess that's also the case with anything. Is that people's brains are just gonna work a little different. Where's the first one of these things? With the Quicksilver? Have I not unlocked? It's the H. Oh, it's right here. Um... But yeah, I just feel like this game is slightly harder for my brain to get my head around. And this is 
very welcome. This is by itself. Ooh, nice. That's satisfying. Um, only... Oh, nice. It keeps track of the wind down here. There's the rules. All right. It's a good start. Let's do health tonic. Anate Zabaya. Do you know ex do you know exactly how old Armand is? Both he and the lady are rather advanced in age. And Frederick is the only possible heir? As Armand's only surviving grandson, he would be difficult to oppose. There are some other claimants from the distant branches of the family, but they are weak. What brought this on? Promise not to tell anyone, but I was asked to make a tonic to assist in regulating an irregular heartbeat. Oh, Armand. Hopefully he's set everything for an orderly succession of power after he's gone. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. I do intend to keep him healthy. Let's see. We've heard a lot about these different players, but now we know that Armand is the old man in charge. Super old. And Frederick is more reasonable. I think he was dating in the past bits. Oh no. Yeah. As I was kind of saying before. This game is different. In the sense that you aren't creating a... You're not trying to solve something that someone has created you to solve. You're making the entire solution. It can be as crazy or whatever as, as you want. I was looking through some GIFs when you just type in Opus Magnum on the image searches. And I was, <laughs> I was so shocked at the elaborate solution that they had for... It wasn't this one. It was um, airship fuel. I was like, oh my god, how did they ever think of such a crazy solution? It looked so cool, but it was just as effective as anything else, as long as you get to the end. I was thinking about, at the end of this, potentially uh, putting together like a compilation of all the different solutions, because my brain's just going to work different than anyone else's. It probably will not be the most beautifully efficient, cost-effective, or smallest. But I think it's still interesting to see the different creative options and solutions. All right, let's get on this. Yeah, it's a video by Game Maker's Toolkit. They they mention um, another one of Zachtronic's games, Space Chem, which I haven't played either. But if you want to listen to more about solutions and products and stuff like that, highly recommend. So I'm realizing that this is completely done already. And it just needs to be bonded here and then here.
The trick is that you only have this one. Vitae. 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 Thing. So it needs to be loaded in to the far right in the upper one and then shoved through If it travels here, it would be attached to the bone pit. And it can't be loaded first. It would have to be here first. It would have to be loaded ahead of time. This is- the solution's bad. It has it bumping against everything else. See if rotating this will make more sense for me. Nope, it doesn't make any more sense to me when I rotate it. This is actually the way that I think my brain works the best. But I this one seems easy. Have this loaded up. Have this arm here. Oops, load it in, leave it and start again. One can start by picking up and pushing it one, and then waiting, because it releases on this one, and it needs to be released to be able to be bonded. That's this uh, product here. And then it needs to be, if it's up here, and rotated once to the right. Let's see what that looks like. Do step by step. So this is correct. Oh, but rotating it will not work. You can't rotate in any direction. It's too limited. If this arm this is a bad spot for this element and pushing it through is a bad idea too because it gets hung up and stuck. Let's see what it looks like if we were to move this section a bit. If one starts at the far left side, Oops, hit my mouse. If it grabs it and goes one, two, three, it's completely out of the way. 
and it doesn't start to repopulate until it's completely empty. That's interesting. Because that means when it comes through here, oh, I should have kept the same. Uh, at the same time, we wanted to pick up the one to the left, reset. Let's try again. Oops. Wrong way. Did I do it again? Oh, I totally did. Okay. Is this where the other one is supposed to go? I think it's the wrong angle. What is this one? This is this element and it needs to be at a different angle. It has to be one to the left. Be here instead. This looks like the right shape to me. How do we get this to stop? That's it. This happened way faster than I expected it to. <laughs> so if it goes one more to the right. Oops. I didn't expect the solution to be the issue. It's shifted by one. It needs to get out of this section, one to the left, without hitting this. Instead of repeating the exact scenario, we might want to change it slightly. And this gripper might be able to be without a piston. I can't go left or right here. I guess two could just keep going.
the molecule needs to be rotated. That's what it needs. So two. Rotates the one. Rotates the whole molecule. Oops. To the left. And might have to be one more in this direction. I mean, it can't go here first, right? That's when it hits the far salt side. And I don't think it could be rotated the other way. Man, I thought I was doing so well. This is nice and efficient. We need the solution to be here. I don't want to add another arm. That's where this is coming in. Because I could just get one to pull it one in this direction. Because we can't have to rotate it this way because it'll get hit on this again. Or will it? If, if Q never goes any further than right here and rotates back the other direction. Oops, too soon. One, two. It's the same problem with more steps. So it's like smart, but dumber. I wish you could go back and forth. Is there no way to do that? They have to go in order. Because I don't want to have to step through every single time. Maybe it does need to be an extending arm. That was my original thought with the number two arm. And then I was like, no, it, there's no need for that. Okay, let's redo it. That's fine. Whatever two is becomes three. Trash, trash it, start again. I don't think it needs to go this direction. I guess if it swings once. Why do I keep wanting to do it that way? Because I don't want it to return, that's why. We do want it to go back the other way so it doesn't get in the way. Then extend once. And that should be enough area. No, it needs to extend twice. So we've got the two pink bits here and here. I think it should show here.
All right, I think we did it. Oops, I forgot to reset it. Does this need that return? I think so. Beautiful. Nice. Average cycle, low cost. Even though I used the piston arm, it's still on the low side of cost. This is definitely the person who could figure it out without extending it. This is a very average solution. Great. There, that should do it. One healthy-ish patriarch for the House Von Tassen, as ordered. Long live the patriarch, Armand. Yeah, long live, I guess. You don't seem particularly enthusiastic. I do think it's good if he stays alive. After all, he pays for everything around here. You'd do well to show him a little more appreciation for your house. She seems very loyalist to me. 